this is Victor. I'm here with the second part on the painting of the Fulminator or the Bacot. So here we are going to do some more detail. We are going to start doing the highlights, the details and other um, parts of the, the Bacot. And we will keep working as well so that you can know all, all the steps I have done on the rider are the same that we have done on the Bacot. So I just will cover parts of the rider when they are especially different from what I'm doing on the tobacco, but if it's the same techniques, I will not go through. So now we are going to paint the face, we are going to paint the, the head of the tobacco, and I'm going to use, I'm going to start with the eyes and using Fleischgeist yellow. Okay, so we are going to have, let's check in what I have here, if it's good enough, or if I need to, I think I have, it's good what I have here. Okay. So I'm going to take my detail brush and I'm going to put yellow in the eyeballs. Something like that. And with the same on the other side. And we wait at this device. And while this is drying, I'm going to take now bean red brown, this brown, and I'm going to paint the teeth with this brown. So I take a little bit more on my palette because the one I have is quite in bad shape. So put a little bit like that. And we are going to paint the teeth like that. Okay. We are going to apply this on all the teeth, just as a base color. So now what we are going to do is we are going to go section by section or part by part and um, finishing finishing up them, right? So if you want to know how the skin was done, this was done in part one. And if you want to know yeah, how all the other parts were covered in the part one of this video, of this tutorial, okay? So I will keep working on the teeth, and once I have applied bean blade brown, I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step, I'm going to use black, and we are going to do the purple in the eye. Like that, and we do the same on the other side. Just try to find your position. And we do like a vertical line, like that. It's okay. Now I'm going to take Racker Flesh. And we are going to paint the teeth with racker flesh, leaving the base of the teeth in the vein blade brown. Okay, so we are going to do something like that. Okay. And finally, I'm going to use white. And we're going to apply white on the teeth, on the tip of the teeth. You can go a little bit lower if you want, it, it's up to you.
this. Something like that. It makes teeth look more interesting. I'm going to put some additional white because for the next step I will need a little bit more white on my palette. to do some highlights and some other stuff so just want to be sure that they have enough white for the next step but I will put a little bit more on the teeth try to go thin so in the way that when it dries it's a little bit showing off the underneath color it's going to make them look more natural and then you can do a second layer and add more on the tip of the teeth okay like that should be okay and now I'm going to highlight this um, the light green thing okay the ones they leave almost white so I'm going to start with white adding white it's a little bit too thick to be fair I will put some water in my mixture So we are going to apply some white okay, here where we want the highlights, here, there, and then we are going to use the same base color we used before, the Ghost Blast, Blaster Green, and we are going to wet blend and add some highlights with the mixture where it's needed so you want to mix it, I, I like to mix it directly on the miniature to blend it if I set this to light I take a little more of the green and then if it's needed on the deepest part I will take a little bit of the cybery green the same color we use for the armor and we're going to apply it there in the recess mix with a little bit of Gauss Blaster Green so just to create this shade okay but remember you want to leave it almost white so you want the white to be and the Gauss Blaster Green to be the dominant colors And like that, we are going to do all these parts. Okay, we are going to do well this thing there. And we are going to do the inside of the cape, okay, as well. So I'm going to do all this in the same way. So I'm just going to finalize first this part on camera so you can see how I do a full part. I will do this one here. here. If you follow my channel for a while you know that I, I always do the stone cards that are not the white in this way. So I even make a video just explaining how I do this type of white or greenish white, okay? White is, can be quite interesting color as can be highlight, shaded sorry, with different tones to give more sensation of green or sensation of blue, so it's up to you. Depending on the, on the tone that you do on 
to shade it you can send the white or you can create the white with, with different tonalities right that can make the white more interesting so you can see now we have a nice white here quite rich in in shades unlike that I'm going to do the other parts okay so I will do the other side and the other parts that have the same color and I'm back for the next step okay next step I'm going to use iron breaker and with that we are going to do some of the metallic parts that yeah, they are not gold, right? So, I mean, there are some buckles and things that I don't think they should be making gold. For example, there are here some small buckles. Okay, we are going to do as well this and mainly this is going to be all and this and the, the buckles here okay so I'm going to do that and I'm back for the next step okay next I'm going to use again Gauss blaster green and we are going to do the scales that we have engraved on the armor. So I'm going to, for example, do the, these ones as an example. So we are going to paint them in this Gauss Blaster Green color. And I'm going to do as well the shield. Okay, we do this one by one, leaving the recess in the dark green okay so we do it like that you need to be a little bit patient but there are not too many scales so it should be okay okay and we do that in all the armor plates of the dracot And as this is the same process, it's a very similar process, we are going to do the same on the shield. So we are going to paint the shield. Most likely here we will need two layers to have a smooth and solid green color. But on the shield I don't care too much about the... the I, I paint overall the flat area. Uh, and, and I do this, I know that later on we are going to do the gold trimming and everything, but now we'll do all this like that, okay? So, uh, here we see, we do the shield, we do the scales, okay, two layers on the shield, and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step, I'm going to use Wave uh, Watcher Green, and we are going to glaze over the scales we did with the Gauss Blaster Green. So we take this one and we go over. You will see then that the scales will look more integrated to the rest of the armor. Okay. I'm going to do this on all the scales and we are going to do the same on the shield. Okay, we take the shield and we glaze this over. Okay, and we like the shield to lie before touching it. Okay, so here we have the shield. And I will keep doing this on the scales and I'm back. 
Okay, next step we are going to do the highlights on the armor. So to do that I'm going to use the next colors. I'm going to use Cyber Green. Okay, that was the base color we used for the armor. We are going to use Gauss Blaster Green and we are going to use as well Cabalite Green. Okay. And with these three colors we are going to play to do the highlights on some of the shades that we wanted. So for example, I'm going to work on this but here I start normally with Zyber, uh, with Zyber Green I do the edge try to go quite thin okay and when I arrive to the, when I'm arriving to this part I will just fill a little bit this, this half made scales in that case I will also follow the edge here Go up and I will follow the edge at the bottom. Now I'm going to take Gauss Blaster Green. I'm going to do, we're going to do all the rib rivets or nails this type of things with the Gauss Blaster Green it will look very like that and then I'm going to take this up and we are going to do well part of the edge highlight with this color also moisture if you see that it's too thick one color I recommend to have with you is as well the Incubi Darkness and this will help in case Darkness is dead. Well, this one. I don't need too much of this. To be fair, just is this for small corrections. And sometimes you will need to do. For example, on the rivets, when I went a little bit, I, I killed the shade of the rivet. I just go next to it and I add a little bit of this. Okay. This will get, help to clean this shape. Keep working now with the Zyberic Green. I'm going to go a little bit up with that to lighten the color. And here is where you can start using a little bit of the cover like you in. To add some more. Saturate the color a little bit, right? So the cover like green is more saturated than the, than the color we have now in the armor. And will give a little bit more life to the armor. Okay. Here I will do the opposite I have done there. So I will start from the top. I will go down. Now we take the cavalite. Go lower. Now we take the cyber the cyber green. I mix it. We do a little bit of white, a very limited blending here to make this part look more interesting. When we have done this, we use the Gauss Buster Green and we do this 
it just okay, it's quite complex this part because on top we have the start of the scams but I think like that will do the work okay and you can also add a little bit of just very little of Gauss blaster green here on this part okay it will take this is maybe the most well, uh, intensive or the slowest part of the painting of this guy that is to do the all the edge highlight on the armor so the part that taking more time is the skin and the armor of course because are the main surfaces how we do these plates that we have here so first I will take the gauss blaster green And I will do the reverse all of them. Okay, and if you do mistake, remember we use the incubidarnes to do any correction later on. Because this can be quite a tricky part. So I try to come with the brush a little bit sideways. But these rivets are really small. And it's very easy to do small mistakes. Now we start with the Savary Green. I'm going to start from here at the back. Okay. And we take a little bit of the Gauss Blaster. We do like that. Zybari Green. And just a little bit of Gauss Blaster Green here. And when we see that the rivet is not well done, we put a little bit more. Side. you can then profile it with the ink of the darkness. I'll do already this one that we're realizing for example this one go to this this and this we go for the next armor plate We start with Zyberi Green, I go a little bit like that. This one starts to be bigger, so we can start doing the sides as well. And we come with Gauss Blaster. There. And now we blend it like that. Okay. This don't spend too too much time because you I will show you one thing. Once you put the rider, this place will be almost covered. So you just want to do a little bit then, but you don't need to a lot of time. So the other ones, I'm, I'm going to keep it very simple. Just these ones that are the most visible ones. The ones that you can spend a little bit more time are the ones on the neck. Okay, that we are going to do the same. So first I will, you, you can do the HK light or the, so you do the HK light that, like that. And like that. 
And by the way, we are going to do the same on the rider, okay? But always a tip, when you paint in super assemblies, always check that you don't paint in something that will be covered later on, okay? Like the armor plates that are at the back. Maybe you don't want to do them, or just very, very, very basic. Because they will be covered at the end. But these ones, you want to spend more time. Okay, so you see, I have applied Cyber Green. Now we come with, I'm coming with the Gauss Blaster. I will do first the rivets. Okay, I went a little bit too much on all of them. Let it dry first before the cleaning up. And now we are going to do the top edge. So I'm going to come from this side. I want to do like that. I'm coming with very little paint. And just touching the side of the edge of the armor. Okay, and I will do the same on the other side of the neck and on the bottom. Okay. You can see. Now you can the other thing you can do now that we have this so you can make maybe this part like that. Okay, you can Increase the part that is lighter green, and we give some saturation with the cover light. Always leaving, you can see I try to leave always the recess in the original dark color. Okay, but adding this extra. Color gradient, very smooth. It will give, it will make the armor plate more interesting. Okay, you can see how they look like now. Now I'm going to take a little bit the incubi darkness and correct where I need to make the rivet when I went especially this one for the body went out of the rivet. This and the first one. Okay. So I will do this on the rest of the armor plates. And I'm back once all this is done. Okay, so this is how it looks like now. All the armor plates, we have done all the highlights, did it. And we also did on the rider, as I said. Okay, so we have here all the highlights. Next step, I'm going to. Um, work on the horns and here we are going to use a different type of greens so I'm going to use um, going from dark so I have the base is cyber green okay the, the the base that we have done before then I'm going to use warstone glow and mood green and I forgot so let's, we are going to have as well Caliban Green, okay? So what we do here, we start with the Caliban Green. We're going to do the horn, one of the big horns. 
I'm going to start with Kali Wangwin. We are going to do like that. And I'm going to use a little bit of the incubidarner to remove some of the, to repair some of the rubbing we have. No, we use Warstone Glow. Just moisturing it because it's quite dry. And I'm going to apply such as that. Okay. And on the tip, we are going to apply a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to apply it here. And I do the same like that. As you can see, I'm working with the paint quite thin. to have more I'm building up the color little by little now I'm going to take mode green And I'm going to add this okay, and now I go back to the Warstone Glow. Now I'm going to use Caliban Green and doing this. We do the same on this line here. And I'm taking no Caliban Green. To smooth it, we're going to take no Western Glow. And Western Glow here. 
and like that we are going to do all the holes okay so we are going to repeat the pressure what we do on the small ones the small ones we do less steps of course so I'm going to apply directly Warston Glow and Multiglin at the tip so we do all them the same way Warston Glow and then just I'm going to do like that as well the nails so the nails we start with the Caliban green and the incubi darnages is in case that the paint has been rubbed off in case you need to do some repairs you need to, to repair something that is damaged or mistake that you have done applying other colors so for example here I realized that I had a miss of a white dot there so I'm going to just apply this you can see we have that I'm going to remove the warstone glow And then we finalize with mud green. And we will do this on all the clothes and horns, okay? Like that. So I'm going to work the rest of clothes and horns and I'm back. Okay, so next step I'm going to use Death Cloud Brown. Okay. This one, of course, I will use again more from brown, and I will use as well uh, towel light aqua. And with that, we are going to highlight the browns on the on the belts on different places. Okay, so mainly, so we have some here. So I start. I always start with the more from brown to start creating the first. Highlights. Then I will use Death Cloud. So we have applied Death Cloud Brown. We are going to do this, for example. This and we're going to do a little bit there, and I'm going to do as well, for example, this bell here. And then the top, the top light aqua, which is applied. Like that, okay, and like that, we do the other bells, and we will do as well the leathery parts here on this uh, guy, okay. So, on this guy, so we're going to do more or less the same. So, we go, for example, with this one here, I will first go with more from brown, okay. Then I go with the Death Clown. And then like that. Okay? And you can glaze it or put a little bit of more front to make it thinner. Okay? And like that I will do all the leather parts and then come back for the next step. Okay, next step, as I did before, I'm going to apply, as I did on the shield, I'm going to apply a glaze 
of waste stone uh, this one the the green glaze on this white parts This is different than from the other stone cards because they have the scales engraved there and I really want them to show off so this is why I'm doing this glazing okay we'll leave it that, like that to the right and we go back to the big guy and here now we are going to work on the golds, okay? And to work on the golds, I'm going to work mainly with retributor armor. And Jehenna's gold. I'm sorry, Auric armor gold, sorry. I get confused. With these two colors, we are going to... Just give me a minute. I'm running out of battery. With these two, we are going to work like that. So first we start with the retributor armor. And we are going to do quite a wide edge highlighting. My purpose is to clean up a little bit this and then we take auric armor gold this much brighter and we do a thinner edge highlight okay the rivets and all this we are, are going to be touched with silver later on Now what I'm going to do is to make the gold a little bit brighter, just leaving the greenish part on the deeper recesses. Okay, so we're going to keep working like that. We want to leave this antique look to the gold. I'm playing with between Auric Armor Gold and Jehenna's Gold. So we'll keep doing like that on all the gold parts here. Let's take it first. Aulic, hi Aulic Retributor. We highlight, for example, the lining. So you can see now the, the difference between the parts that we have highlighted and the parts that we have not touched yet. So we do here, for example, this, this part, and this, now I'm going to do this going down.
one thing that I may use from time to time if I see that I went a little bit out with the gold and thinking in Cubidernes and I'm thinning down this again okay I will go for this a little bit smaller brush when I'm going to these details Aurica Armor Gold I want to make this brighter now I'm going to do this edge I'm doing like that okay so I keep doing that and I'm back okay so this is the stage we are now and I'm going to stop here the part two and I will do a part three to talk about that so the the rider is not done so in the part three I'm going to do mainly the cape of the rider the weapon we are going to finalize the shield you can see here we have the head the head is quite uh, advanced as well so it, because it's the same technique that we have used in the rest of the armor so this way I did not uh, explain so but we are going to do the crest once it's glued and here there is only a couple of details that we want to do but it's going to be covered in, in part 3 so uh, I hope you have enjoyed this one and keep tuned because part 3 is coming soon and I hope you like it so that's all for now as well thanks a lot for watching and see you again later bye